my god, it's a truck carrying a truck carrying a truck carrying a truck. For today's sponsor, we have GVG Mall where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16. And using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account, and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Shin Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and welcome to my channel. So today's video is basically a video of with a GPU comparison, this time with the RX 580 versus the RX 5500 XT versus the RX 6600 XT. As you know, when, when launched, when released, the 5500 XT was actually pretty close to the RX 580 in terms of performance, but only consuming less power. And now since lots of my viewers actually have the RX 580 and some of them have the 5500 XT, I decided to do the RX 580 versus the 5500 XT versus the 6600 XT because most of them may want to upgrade since, well, prices are crazy, we know that prices are crazy and that the, the current prices on cards are way higher than they should ever be. We all know that, but in terms of the current market price we actually have the 6600 xt a bit less expensive or in some countries way less expensive than the the rtx 3060 so lots of people with the rx 580 or the 5500 xt are searching for gpu to upgrade to and that's why i'm making this video and well without any further delays don't forget to hit like subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot and let's go to the gpu comparison <laughs> it's not even that word in, in French. Well, let's go to the GPU comparisons right now. Hope you enjoy the, the video and see you in the conclusion. I'm coming for the throne. Today's first game is Gears 5 using the X12 and Ultra settings. This game has had some patches in between that improve the performance at higher resolutions, so it has been retested for all cards. As for the results, we can see that while consuming way less power, the 5500 XT manages to pull quite ahead of the RX 580, with the overclocking not doing much at 1080p. At 1440p we see that the RX 5500 XT gets higher 1% lows from overclocking and gets almost 60 average FPS using ultra settings. This with the 6600 XT having a major lead at 1080p with almost double the FPS of the 5500 XT and with a minor lead at 1440p. At 4K the results are quite strange and it seems like the FPS are kind of locked. Although I searched for every possible option and there was no such thing enabled. Overall, all cards performed decently well, with the 6600 XT having a good margin over the other cards, mostly at 1080p. Oh, hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes. Sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. 
Now with Remedies Control, also using the X12 and High Settings, which are the maximum ones apart from Ray Tracing. In this game, both the RX 580 and the 5500 XT are pushing equivalent results at 1080p and 1440p, with the 6600 XT having a massive lead in this game. We're talking about more than double the FPS at both 1080p and 1440p, averages and 1% lows. This while consuming the same power as the RX 580. Just impressive. At 4K, the trend continues with the 6600 XT having more or less double the FPS of the two other cards. Still, those same cards are delivering us an authentic PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Overall, anything apart from 4K will be fine for all cards. Now with Assassin's Creed Valhalla using the X12 and very high settings. This game is actually the first Assassin's Creed game in years that is decently optimized. Not pretty well, but at least decently. Even more for the AMD hardware. As we can see, even the old RX 580 will push around 46 average FPS at 1080p very high settings, meaning that with a little tweaking, 60 average FPS would be achievable. Those same 60 average FPS are almost achieved by the RX 5500 XT, showing us how this card has improved over time. At 1440p, the 6600 XT maintains a massive difference over the other cards, as it should be. And at 4K, the difference is also noticeable, even if none of these cards are meant for higher resolutions. Let's move on. This time with Rainbow Six Siege, using Vulkan API, Ultra Settings and 100% Render Scale. Here we can see once again the 5500 XT pushing around 10% more FPS than the RX 580, while consuming considerably less power. And of course, the 6600 XT pushing way more 1% lows than the other cards have on averages. At 4K, the story is still the same, with the 5500 XT being close to 60 average FPS and the 6600 XT pushing over 90. Now with Red Dead Redemption 2, an astonishingly well-made game, like I always say. These results are the ones given from the inbuilt benchmark, and from my own experience the 1% lows can be really tricky in most scenarios, as you can see, so let's ignore them for now. At 1080p and 1440p, both the RX 580 and 5500 XT are pretty close in this game, and that is due to how heavy the game is, and even at 1080p high settings, none of the two cards can achieve 60 average FPS. On the other hand, the 6600 XT is easily pushing over 100 average FPS at 1080p, over 78 average FPS at 1440p, and even at 4K, it holds things up with almost 45 average FPS, meaning that once again with some tweaking, the 60 FPS at 4K are attainable. If he finds out, I went up with you. Twice, if he learns we've been to a Hansa off limit zone. Metro Exodus now in the early Moscow mission using the X12, Ultra Settings with Desolation and Hair Works On. Once again, the 5500 XT is pushing a bit more FPS than the older RX 580, 
while the 6600 XT is pushing almost double the FPS, as it should. This at 1080p. At 1440p and 4K, the results aren't, aren't bad at all, but the older cards do suffer, going as low as 16 FPS. But taking in consideration how old they are and that they were already mid-low-end cards when they were released, I think they're still doing a pretty nice job. Overall, the RX 580 and the 5500 XT for 1080p and the 6600 XT and above for 1440p and above. <laughs> Let's move on. Almost reaching the final line, we have Forza Horizon 4. As you can see, even the RX 580 can push almost 70 average FPS at 1080p max settings and using 2x MSAA, which is almost a miracle in a game looking as good as this one. This said, the 6600 XT is pushing almost 180 average FPS with SAM activated, which is nothing but ridiculous, in a good way of course. As for 1440p and 4K, the trend continues and even the older cards can present respectable results, even at max settings. You can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. That's fine, step aside. Now in the final line with Cyberpunk 2077, using custom settings, basically high settings with 4 of them set to medium. This game is really heavy, and that can be seen. We're not even close to max settings, and the RX 580 and the 5500 XT are already sweating at 1080p. None of those cards could achieve 50 average FPS, and there are way heavier parts in these games, so yeah. Anyway, if you thought that the 1080p results were bad, now look at these ones. At 1440p, the older cards turn into a movie experience at 24 frames per second, and at 4K, my god, we have an awesome slideshow with pictures of what should be a game. Overall, this game completely tanks the older cards, with only the RX 6600 XT presenting decent results. Yeah, let's move to the conclusion. So guys, concluding, well, 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 this was a pretty interesting video for two reasons. Well, the first is that the 5500 XT now has a considerable margin over the RX 580, even more if overclocked. Once overclocking the, the RX 580, unless you have a really, really bad model, you won't get much performance out of it. You will actually have a bit more performance with less temperatures and so on, so lower temperatures, but overall the performance gains won't be that much. While with the RX 5500 XT, you actually have some pretty decent gains in some games, which is really good to know, while being already faster in, all, in almost every single game than the RX 580. Sorry for my stuttering, I'm quite tired and English is not my main language, you know, you know. But now the main point is, is upgrading from the RX 580 or the RX 5500 XT to the RX 6600 XT worth it? Well, in my opinion, if you have the money and if you need a GPU, yes, it is. It may not be the best price performance because we have some really cheap 6700 XT in some countries, but overall it is the cheapest GPU you can get and in most scenarios it is faster than the RX 3060, even more if using smart access memory and a little bit of OC slash UV, okay? So it is worth if you actually need a GPU. If you think you can handle uh, that your that your actual GPU can handle games for let's say like one year more or maybe half a year more, well, just wait. It is, it all comes to what you really want and what you can actually spend. So if you can spend that money because you actually need a GPU for higher resolutions, let's say, just do it. If you need it just for 1080p 60 Hz, well, then just adjust some settings and try to first upgrade your monitor and then your GPU. That's just my opinion, but is it worth overall? Yes, it is, because the performance difference is massive. And when I say massive, I'm not even kidding. I mean, you saw the charts. The difference is massive. 
it is like two times sometimes a bit more than two times faster than the rx 580 while consuming the same power it makes a lot of difference at 1080p and 1440p so is it worth yes i think it is now guys that there's not really much more to say don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Also, leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this video. Um, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, leave your comment in the comment section and I will answer as fast as I can, as always, okay? Thanks a lot for watching one more time and see you in the next video.